Hey you guys, today we're going to be doing my strength building plank workout. Okay, so for this workout we're going to be doing a lot of planks today, but hey, that's always a good thing. There are some exercises that I'm incorporating that could be more for the intermediate advanced group, so you're more than welcome to just do maybe double or triple of the more beginner uh, exercises if you're having trouble with any of the advanced stuff. Okay, the first thing we're going to start with is just one arm plank holds. Now with these, I want you to think about holding for anywhere from 5 to 10 seconds. Once you've done that, you can put your arm down and then you're just going to go on to the next arm. Okay, we're just going to start in a basic plank. We're going to think about keeping our lips, our hips level and uh, I would have your feet not too far apart, maybe about shoulder width apart. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to lift our right arm. Really think about keeping this hip closed off and we're just going to try to hold that for anywhere from 5 to 10 seconds. So once you've done that, you're going to put your arm down and we're just going to rotate to the other side. Really think about keeping that hip closed off because it's going to want to open up. We're going to keep it closed off. We're going to come down. Now we're going to lift our right leg and hold that anywhere from 5 to 10 seconds. Next we're going to go into lifting our left leg. 5 to 10 seconds and lower. So after that, if you want to take a brief rest, you can do that. Um, maybe try to repeat that two to three times. Once you've completed that two to three times, we're going to go into what I call a plank push. For that, you can use a towel, um, a paper plate, anything on a slick surface. You don't, if you don't have a weight, you can put dumbbells, something for some resistance. It doesn't have to be a lot of resistance. Um, but if you want more resistance, you can just make this heavier. So we're gonna do the same kind of format of what we just did. We're just gonna start down in a basic plank, both feet, both hands. You're just gonna grab this, and you're just gonna push this out for anywhere from five to 10 to 12 reps. Think about keeping that hip closed off. Once you've completed that, you're just going to kind of go on your knees. We're going to shift it over to the other side. We're going to do the same thing. Neutral head. I'm not looking up or down. I'm just kind of keeping it neutral. You're really going to feel the obliques working on this one. Next, we're going to pass it back over. This is maybe more for the intermediate advanced. We're going to go back in that same position. We're going to raise our opposite leg. And now we're going to do that same as we did the first time. Really thinking about keeping that back flat. Now we're going to go back over here again. We're going to lift that opposite leg. And back to start. Whew. So you're really going to feel those obliques fighting. So when you're working this side, this side's really working. This side, this side's really working. Great exercises. Okay. Next we're going to just do a little bit of side plank work. Let me move this up a little bit. All right, we're just going to start in a side plank. We're going to lift up with stacked feet and we're just going to kick out. And with these, you can do anywhere from 10 to 15 kicks. <sighs> Keeping that lower hip raised. Once you've completed that, you're just gonna rotate over and go right into 10 to 15 raises here. Once you're done with that, I would normally say rotate over. I don't want my back to you, so I'm gonna go here. So now we're just gonna do the other leg really kicking that leg up, crunching in, rotating over, and going right into your leg lift.
Okay, so once you finish that, you're going to move your mat out of the way. You're gonna grab your sliders or towels or pick your towels, object of your choice. We're just gonna put those at our feet. If you don't have a lot of space like I do, 30 seconds, you're gonna just go up and back. A longer space, go as far as you can till you hear that 30 second timer. A nice flat back. Try not to move your hips too much like this. Think about stabilizing your hips as you're walking. And they call it a seal walk. I'm gonna move my hands this way. Because to save your wrists, you're actually gonna walk like a seal. So, as you're walking, think about that with your hands. It's gonna be a little more damaging for your wrists here. Slight rotation. All right. So, we're keeping our back straight, our hips straight. And we're just moving back and forth, keeping our butt low. It's gonna to wanna to ride up. Whew. Okay, you can do this as a circuit doing the one arm, then going into the push, the side plank and here, and starting from the beginning and going through maybe three to four circuits, or you can do each grouping three to four times and then before moving on. Whew. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that workout. It's a good one, it's kind of brutal, but that's how you're gonna get your changes by pushing yourself. Hey, check out AthleenXXForWomen.com. If you haven't uh, found us on Facebook or Instagram, you should. We've got some great stuff posted there, usually on a daily basis. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I hope you guys work out with me soon.